Good morning and welcome to BK News. Today is Friday, November 4th and it is a B-Day in the building. I'm Evan. I'm Sophia. And here's today's news. Students, please remember you should no longer be wearing polo shirts. You are to wear the BK logo to Oxford shirt. For boys, you must also either wear a sports coat with it or wear a tie with it. Even if you have a quarter zip on, the tie is also required. For girls, no tie is required and a blazer can be worn if desired. Our new student community service log application, Mobile Surf, is up and running. Each BK student was sent an invitation to their school email to create a login. It takes just a few minutes and then you are good to go to log all your service hours. You can even attach a photo and location. Once you complete your yearly requirement, keep login hours. This application creates student portfolios that maintain records of your hours until you graduate. Also, please look under the feature opportunities on the drop down menu. You can sign up for volunteer events as we are notified of them. Currently, we have a sign up for this weekend's Rotary Pasta Dinner. See Ms. Stefan with questions. House tokens from October have been counted and the results from Halloween house competition have been calculated. Here are the house standing. Drum roll, please. Fourth place is O'Day with 3,600 points. Third place is Castlebar with 4,195 points. Second place is Bayern with 4,475 points. And our leader, once again, is Avonmore with 4,870 points. Calling all drummers and students who want to learn how to drum. BK is starting an exciting new drum corp or drumline club. There will be a meeting Wednesday, November 9th from 3 to 4 in the band room. See Mr. Shefford, sign up to attend and get more information. Take a look at this energetic and fun opportunity. It's open to all grades. Try it out. It's that time of the year. Tw the 2022 Crosses and Crowns Gala will be taking place Saturday, November 12th. Want to complete your community service hours while taking fun supporting BK's biggest event? Sign up to volunteer of the, at the Student Life Office. See Ms. Stefan with any questions. Our fall play, The Play That Goes Wrong, is already for, it's ready for aud an audience. Join, join us tomorrow and tonight tomorrow at 7 p.m. PM in the BK Auditorium for this hilarious laugh, and laugh Out Loud play with where everything goes wrong. Tickets are only $7 and keep, can be purchased at the door at the night of the show. See Ms. Stefan with any questions. The Play That Goes Wrong is about this acting troupe who is trying to put together like a murder mystery taking place in the 1920s and everything that could go wrong does go wrong. Sets fall down, people get hit in the face with the door. Where people forget their lines. Missing their cues and nothing is going as it should. I think people should come see the show because it's honestly a really funny and great show that's been really um, I think, well done. I spend like a blast making it and like performing it. It's way funnier than any show, probably than like the other shows Carney's done in the past. It's got a lot of unexpected twists and turns, both intentional and unintentional. So the show is on November 4th and November 5th, um, Friday and Saturday. At 7 p.m. and you can get tickets at the door for $7. U16 hockey girls have a home game today at 11 and 4.45 and Saturday at 10.20. The rest is to be determined. U16 girls have home games at 12.40 and 6.25 on Friday and Saturday at 12. All these games will be played at Bill Gray's Arena. Come out and support the girls at their tournament. Boys hockey will be traveling to Buffalo Friday through Monday. We wish good luck to our boys hockey teams. Are you going to watch the show this weekend? Yes, I am. I hope nothing goes wrong. Me too. Thank you for tuning in to BK News. I'm Evan. I'm Sophia. And have a great day.